Hello guys, Penis Customs here once again, just to show you uh, my one of my latest builds. Uh, if y'all seen, I've been building flat beds and to be able to tow cars or whatever else you may need to tow. Uh, first one was this yellow one, if y'all seen before, and then I decided to build another, this one, a little bit different. Uh, and I've also had this uh, old M2 laying around. It used to be a tow truck, but I decided to change it up, do it a little bit different, as you can see. Um, gasser that I had built a while back. But as you can see, I built a flatbed for it, made out of wood. And then I also built, uh, repainted it. It wasn't originally red. Uh, and then just reattached all the, uh, the components that were on the original. Uh, still need the lights. The lights that I tried to pop out, they didn't cooperate and I had to just break them out. So I still need to replace the lights. But overall, the build was great. I really liked it. Gives you an old school look. Uh, growing up, I remember my dad used to drive one of these. They used to call them uh, bobtails. But it's an old M2 that I had laying around and decided to put a flatbed wooden bed on it. Give it an old classic look. Uh, and as you can see, I, I used a wood burner, put Peanuts Customs on it. Uh, I stretched the frame to make it longer, or if not, this was the original bed that came on it that sat right there, right behind it. So you can see how much of a stretch I did on the frame. The wheels would have been right there. But, uh... I uh, used some KNS metals right there on the frame right there. And if you cut the original right there, then these uh, tubings or the square tubings that you can buy from any hobby store, KNS metals, they'll actually just slide in there, use a little bit of JB Weld and uh, JB Weld it in there. And that's all there is to it. Just cut it to the length you want of the truck and that's all there is to it. I was going to put some real riders, but I decided to go with the original wheels, which I think makes it look a whole lot better. Keeps that old classic look. Uh, on the inside, see if I can get a close-up on the inside. I uh, put uh, some Serapi seat covers on it. It was originally black, as you can see the see that right there. Uh, I got these from Big E, Eric Wannabe Customs off of uh, Instagram. If anybody knows him, he sells those pretty cheap. As if you, you can also see, there's a uh, that little piece right there. It's a shift knob that I put in there to make it look, you know, standard. There you go, there's a little bit of a look you can see. And also detail the inside, if you can see that orange chrome handles. I painted the inside of that right there. So there's a lot of details on the inside that you can't see. There's a good look at that shift. Let's see, shift knob right there. Gear shift, there you go. Right there. Oh, uh, did all the details on it, on the inside. Details on the outside around the window. Painted the details all back on, but Overall, I'm completely satisfied with this one. When I took out the window, it did crack, but you know, it's an old classic, so it kind of gives it a little classic look with the cracked windshield. So I wasn't too upset when I cracked the window. But there you go, guys. Pretty nice flatbed custom hauler. Uh, I got the look I was going for, and I uh, really like it. Enjoyed the way it came out, like the way it came out. And uh, now you can just about haul anything you may want to haul. And gasser. This old school van that I built a while back. But, but anyway, I hope y'all like it. Hope y'all continue to watch my videos. If anybody ever has any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. I'll do my best to answer your questions on any builds that I do. Uh, I keep no secrets. You ask me, I tell you how I do it. 
uh, I'm just trying to help out the next guy. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you like it. Hope you enjoy my builds. Uh, and we'll see what comes up next. Thanks for watching. God bless.